Hello everyone. Uh, this vlog is about our press water generator on board. At first, I'm gonna teach you the brief discussion, a simple principle about our press water generator. First, what is a press water generator? So, press water generator is a unit which convert seawater into fresh water by vacuum distillation based on evaporation and condensation. Fresh water generator on board ships uses heat generated from the main engine jacket cooling system to produce distilled water which is a, also a drinkable water which evaporates seawater due to a high vacuum which allows the feed water to evaporate at a comparatively low temperature. I will show you the heat mass balance drawing of your press water generator model KE30. So first I will discuss the components. So this is your ejector pump, your ejector, and this is your condenser side, the evaporator side, and this is your heater side. Okay, so this is your distilled pump. We will start right here. As soon as your ejector pump is being started, seawater is being supplied in your seawater line. So it goes right here, your ejector. Then it goes through here. Then it will pass into a series of tubes on your condenser side. Then as you can see, on your condenser outlet, there's a line here. So this line is for your feed water line. A part of your seawater cooling line in the outlet side of your condenser also we get we get a connection here for your feed water line so your seawater will pass through here okay then it will then convert it into a feed water which will soon be evaporated and converted into a distilled water so part of your seawater will be directly discharged to overboard. So as the seawater circulation is going on from your ejector pump goes through your ejector side then your condenser side and goes to overboard and a part of that will go through your feed water line. It will open this uh, jacket cooling water line so heat is being generated here it's being supplied through here your heater side then it will goes out so from 60 degrees it will goes down to around 42.1 or something like that so heat is being absorbed through here so by your feed water line as your feed water passes through here this uh, series of tubes Okay, from your heater, heater side, so it will then evaporate through your evaporator side because of the high vacuum around negative 0 0.095 megapascal. So as your feed water is evaporating, this is your evaporator side, the mist it will pass right through here, your demister. So this one is your condenser side, so as the process of condensation, so your evaporated water will turn into a liquid so okay from vapor into liquid because of the condensation so it will be collected through here then it will be pumped out using the distillate pump okay so your distilled water will be collected through your fresh water tank and that is the end of the system. Press water generator is continuously running. So, your distilled water or the produced water is being continuously monitored by the salinity indicator which is attached in the outlet line or the outlet side of your distillate pump right through here. Any alarms due to high salinity or high salt content it will cause an audible alarm on the local side and on the engine room monitor panel. Salinity indicator 
will then activate the solenoid valve for recirculation to your evaporator. Procedure for starting. On board, this is our fresh water generator. Maker is a Sakura Engineering Company Limited, model Kilo Eco 30. This fresh water generator has a capacity of 30 tons per day. Prior starting, you have to secure some valves. This is the blowdown valve for draining the heater side. You need to close it before starting. Next is the distillate pump vent bulb. You need also to close that bulb. Next is we partially open the seawater outlet bulb of condenser. Then we close the vacuum breaker bulb. We open the feed water supply bulb. Also, we need to confirm that the seawater inlet bulb for the condenser is open. Then we open the overboard bulb for the freshwater generator uh, seawater line. Next, we open the inlet bulb of the freshwater generator injector pump. Also, we open the fresh water generator ejector pump outlet bulb. Confirm that it is fully open. Next is in the starter panel. We can start the fresh water ejector pump. Observe the starting current. And in the local side, we observe the inlet and outlet pressure on the pressure gauge. Then check for the abnormal sounds vibrations on the motor and on the pump observe the ejector pump motor current if it is in a normal range after that you can check for the vacuum gauge the vacuum is uh, slowly rising until it reaches around 0.085 megapascal negative 0 0.085 megapascal as you have seen on your pressure gauge then check for the paid water supply pressure check for the proper pressure and around the minute later so we now reaches the vacuum maximum vacuum around negative 0 0.085 megapascal as you can observe on the clip so vacuum is steady around negative 0 0.085 then we can now supply heating we open the jacket inlet bulb gradually until we fully open the bulb in order to avoid the thermal shock so by slowly opening you can feel the line that is uh, slowly heated up so feel it by your hand so it is uh, gradually heating your heater side now we fully open the jacket inlet bulb to the heater next is we gradually open the outlet bulb from the heater side then we observe the thermometer and feel the line the heater side the it is slowly heated up it's the temperature of the inlet around 88 to 90 so the outlet will be around 68 to 71 the heater side temperature will be around 55 to 60 degrees celsius also it will depend also on your seawater temperature so as you can observe on the side glass the water is slowly boiling so you can see some bubbles then as you can observe on the evaporator side thermometer it is also slowly rising so it must be around 54 50 to 54 degrees celsius as we gradually open the outlet side of the heater temperature will reach until its uh, desired state so water now is uh, boiling 
so as you can observe now we fully open the outlet valve of the heater side then we observe the side glass so water is uh, boiling in evaporator uh, temperature is around 50 then we slightly close at around 50 percent the jacket heating supply so that we can regulate the heating temperature according to the standard setting by partially closing this bypass valve you can now regulate the difference between inlet and outlet temperature of your heater so it must have a difference between 8 to 10 degrees celsius in order to have a good production of distilled water so now we are set we are now opening the distillate pump outlet bulb leading to the press water tank then we start the distillate pump and observe the proper ampere of the motor now the distillate pump is started the pressure is rising and as we observe on the side glass the water is uh, boiling inside the evaporator as we observe also the evaporator temperature this is in the proper range then the salinity indicator as we observe it is in alarm condition so it is normal that it is in a high value because uh, prior starting you need to adjust the pressure by throttling the distillate pump outlet valve until it settles around 2 megapascal and also continuous monitoring of your salinity indicator as you adjust the distillate pump outlet valve you will observe that the salinity indicator monitor the salinity is slowly going down until the alarm will vanish so as the value reaches below 5 ppm so the alarm will cut so it's now time to cut off the alarm so as your press water generator is adjusting for its uh, initial condition as you adjust the discharge bulb of your distillate pump you can observe the pressure and so as your salinity indicator also the value slowly goes down until it reaches its normal salinity or value as we are producing fresh water out of seawater so that is its salt content as you are adjusting also the discharge bulb of your distillate pump you can observe on the side glass the level or the flow of your generated distillate water or fresh water so you can see the flow of your produced fresh water then your salinity indicator now is indicating at around 1.7 ppm so it's getting low so your pressure is st almost steady at 2.0 megapascal then you will observe the plummeter then you will calculate the initial production according to the manual observe all the proper parameters the evaporator temperature the vacuum pressure check that it is within parameter levels observe that the salinity indicator is going down within its tolerable value the flow of distillate water or the produced water on the side glass your distillate pump the pressure in the motor that there is no vibration if possible adjust until you achieve the proper pressure the temperature of your inlet and outlet of your condenser observe that must have a difference between inlet and outlet around 8 to 10 degrees celsius the fed water pressure observe that it is within its limits then a few minutes later so as you can observe salinity indicator now it's around 1.0 to 1.2 ppm so that is normal now you calculate the production initial production according to your plometer using your stopwatch and so by doing that you can estimate the approximate production of your fresh water generator per day that also depends on your seawater temperature
we can generate more fresh water in cold water rather than in hot sea water temperature also check your vapor treatment pump that it is working properly and observe the proper dosing of chemicals daily and monitor your fresh water generator also daily because as I was saying your production will vary according to your seawater temperature fresh water generator requires uh, daily monitoring in order to attain its efficient working condition so that is my simple explanation about our fresh water generator on board thank you for watching hope you like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you